Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about the dreaded P062F fault code. This code indicates an internal control module EEPROM error, which can be a real pain to deal with. But don't worry, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about this code, including what it means, what causes it, and how to fix it. So, if you're seeing this code on your car's dashboard, be sure to check out this video. The P062F code is a generic powertrain diagnostic trouble code, DTC, that indicates a problem with the internal control module, ECM, EEPROM. The EEPROM is a type of memory that stores the ECM's calibration and configuration data. When the ECM detects a problem with the EEPROM, it will set the P062F code. There are several possible causes of the P062F code, including faulty ECM. The ECM itself may be faulty and need to be replaced. Damaged EEPROM. The EEPROM may be damaged and need to be replaced. Software issue. There may be a software issue with the ECM that needs to be fixed. Water damage. Water damage to the ECM or its wiring can also cause this code. Corrosion. Corrosion on the ECM's connectors or wiring can also cause this code. To diagnose the P062F code, you will need to use a scan tool to retrieve the code from the ECM. Once you have retrieved the code, you can use a repair manual to help you diagnose the problem. The repair for the P062F code will vary depending on the cause of the problem. If the ECM is faulty, it will need to be replaced. If the EEPROM is damaged, it will also need to be replaced. If there is a software issue, it may be possible to fix it with a software update. If the problem is caused by water damage or corrosion, the damaged components will need to be repaired or replaced. The P062F code is a serious code that should be addressed as soon as possible. If you are experiencing this code, it is recommended that you take your vehicle to a qualified mechanic for diagnosis and repair. The P062F code is associated with a variety of symptoms, including check engine light illumination. This is the most common symptom and it indicates that the PCM has detected a problem with the internal control module EEPROM. Engine performance issues. The engine may run rough, hesitate, or stall. In some cases, the engine may not start at all. Transmission problems. The transmission may shift erratically or not shift at all. Fuel economy problems. The vehicle may experience a decrease in fuel economy. Other electrical problems. Other electrical problems, such as flickering lights or inoperative gauges, may also occur. Diagnosing the P062F code can be challenging, as it can be caused by a variety of factors. However, there are a few steps that you can take to diagnose the problem. Check the trouble codes. The first step is to check the trouble codes that are stored in the PCM. This can be done using a code reader or scan tool. Inspect the wiring and connectors. Inspect the wiring and connectors for any signs of damage, such as chafing, corrosion, or loose connections. Test the battery and charging system. Make sure that the battery is in good condition and that the charging system is working properly. Check the PCM. If all of the above checks out, then the problem may be with the PCM itself. In this case, you will need to have the PCM replaced. The repair for the P062F code will vary depending on the underlying cause of the problem. However, some common repairs include repairing or replacing damaged wiring or connectors, replacing the battery or alternator, replacing the PCM. It is important to note that repairing the P062F code can be expensive, as it may require replacing the PCM. However, it is important to get the problem fixed as soon as possible, as it can lead to other problems with the vehicle.